Okay, I want to do right now sort of a, a general reading for the people of Earth. Uh, let's take a look at what we have going on. We're um, partway through the summer or winter, I guess, if you're beneath the equator. But we're partially through this season. Let's just take a peek what we got going on and maybe looking at the rest of the summer slash winter, depending on where you are. Okay, the root card is a reverse wheel of fortune, which isn't probably good. Wow. And the world is the main card. All right, so let's just look at this at first. Two major arcana cards. Um, so what is happening on a, a world scale is pretty big. Now, the reverse Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune is destiny, karma, fate, that sort of thing. And this is generally stuff that happens, it's kind of beyond our control, right? And it's also true that this sort of cycle in the wheel back there, this is kind of like the, the zodiac wheel, you know, the, this is the, the big turnings of our universe and how they would show up here. Now, the Wheel of Fortune Upright is generally good stuff, and the Wheel of Fortune Reversed is generally bad stuff. So here is, um, this is like a cycle, it's like a, a shitty cycle, you know, shit waves. Uh, that's what Leahy would say. We've got shit waves coming in, Randy. Um, so, here, the main card is the world. And the world is the last card of tarot. And it shows the ending of a chapter, the ending of a cycle. Now, if you do put these two together, this might be the ending of a good cycle. Although, I don't know <laughs> what what cycles have been happening that are good, but the ending of a good cycle and maybe the beginning of a bad one. Let's just look on either side of the world and see what we got going on. Now, this, this has shown up in my personal readings, these exact cards, repeatedly, and they've been repeatedly showing up for at least six months. Um, but... What we've got here, in the Four of Pentacles, this is someone who, in the card, they're resisting moving forward. Like, something has to change in their life, and they're really resisting it. And it's because they're trying to hold on to wealth, generally. It's just stuff. They're trying to hold on to stuff, money, whatever. And they're afraid to move forward and go through this portal. Now... This is the same portal that shows up in the world. So where there had been a, a hesitation to move forward, it looks like the world, it just like the portal swallows the dude at this point, right? Or the person stops um, resisting the change. And as it moves forward, it moves toward this Three of Pentacles, which is collaboration. Now, this is personal greed that shows up in the four. And this is actual cooperation with other people. In the progression of pentacles, this is actually moving backwards. Um, but this goes from greed to collaboration. It is an ending of something. And with the reverse Wheel of Fortune as the foundation, it's probably not a, a shiny, happy way that it shows up in our lives. Now, let's see here. I just want to see, because there's all these pentacles showing up, this is probably um, an economic thing. And the world definitely could be on the brink of a bunch of different economic collapses. So let's just pull a card here to just show sort of what 
what it is that's kind of ending. Um, and we get another Major Arcana card in the Hanged Man. Huh. Well, the Hanged Man is, is waiting. The Hanged Man um, hung himself because he was trying to get a different perspective on something. It's usually the case when I try to look deeper into this card, it's always the little the little watch that sticks out, and this is like time. Um, the world showing an ending of a cycle, probably specifically having to do with time. I'm going to pull one more because that's just too fuzzy for me. And say, what the hell do you mean? And we get another Major Arcana card. Big shit. Big shit is happening here. Okay. So, the Hanged Man over the Empress. Um, I'm guessing the thing that ends, as I look at this, is like a hesitation to grow. And a hesitation to create. And that hesitation is the thing that ends. The portal swallows the greedy dude. Like, it doesn't even fucking matter if he's trying to keep from moving through it anymore. Um, the portal just swallows him. Now, it it is consistent with the other tarot readings that have talked about it's essentially the Great Reset, I think. Um, and I do believe that it is a massive forced upon people economic shift and from everything the tarot has said after the um, possessions are given up or at least uh, not thought of in the same way it leads toward collaboration and I'm I don't think that any of these World Economic Forum fuckers are good people, right? I, do, I don't think that's true. And I don't think that any of these world controller philanthropists have anyone's... Um, they're not looking out for anybody's uh, health or anything like that. I am very convinced that that is not true. And this might be like an LSD case, right? MK Ultra, the CIA developed LSD because they were trying to make Manchurian candidates. They were trying to use it to brainwash people, but they accidentally created something that opened people's minds. Um, and I kind of feel like this might be the same deal. You know, the World Economic Forum and this Great Reset, they might actually be trying to capture people and be their overlords, but I don't think that's what happens. Uh, and I do believe that these two things are showing, and the cards have shown it repeatedly, and I think that, that it's going to be the way that it is. So the economic shift... I'm pretty sure it's going to happen, and it's going to be many countries' economic collapse. Um, and the, as we've seen recently with um, the AI reading, a lot of jobs are not going to exist. They simply will not be a thing because an AI or a computer or a fucking robot are going to be doing these things. So then it sort of moves into what do people do. And here, it's collaboration. Um, I think it is forced upon us. I don't think it's a choice that we get to make. And I also think in the long run, that in the long run, keep in mind I'm saying, that it'll be a good thing. But this reverse wheel of fortune shows that immediately it will probably suck. Um, but I feel like that's what is being shown here. If you have any other ideas of what's going on in here, and I'll pull out these 
the other ones again real quick. It's Hanged Man over the Empress as far as talking about um, the actual thing that's ending in the world. Um, but if you have any other ideas on what's going on here, any other reads on the cards, questions, comments, any of that stuff, or any um, ideas of what you would like to see in a reading, feel free to leave those in the comments. That's what we get for now, and peace.